what's happening? It's your boy Greg Sean. You already know you locked in right now with the Ugly Money Podcast. What up, what up, what up? Welcome to another episode of the Ugly Money Podcast and my special guest of the evening, Morrow High School's own. Chill. A Southside ATL veteran himself. Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've ever been to Jurassic Park that don't got no dinosaurs, this man may be able to tell you a little something about that. Boys and girls, show your love for Durant's the show. What's, what's up, happening? my brother? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Hey, man, as a fellow big brother, man, you know, I just, I just, uh, I want to first commend you and salute you to your face for making us big look good. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. it's definitely fast. Yeah, it is. All year round. They think when it get cold, <laughs> say, man, we come out there too. Yes, sir. Family, you know, family season all year. Hey, man, sometimes we got to let it hang out. You, you know, know what, what I'm mean? saying? You know what I mean? We got, we, got, we got heat in the wintertime and shade in the summer a little bit. You better get ready. Mm-hmm. But look, check it out. Who was the Reds Deshaun before the Reds Deshaun was the Reds Deshaun? Oh. Red Deshaun. I'm co- okay. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know that just nah, that's my real name. So you know, it, it, I was just trying to throw me one in, but I was just um, you know, a, a regular, just yeah. a regular individual, just the Reds, no Deshaun, no spazazz on it, just just me trying to find my way. Yes, sir. Yeah. What's the difference between Debo and the Reds? <sighs> Debo is what the. The the people gave me they it that was that was they they from my surroundings and what I had going on mm-hmm. and the Reds you know what I'm saying my mom my mama named me yes, the Reds Deshaun so when I got in the game like for real when I got my first little taste of it yes sir I was like I just want to be me I just want to be real I don't want to be nothing extra I don't want to be no gimmick I don't want to you know what I'm saying yes sir so like um. The transition from and the people that didn't know, you know, your old rap name was Debo. Yeah, Debo. The transition. Tell me about the transition. Like, what what what, what made the transition to go from Debo to the Reds? Honestly, just a fresh start. Mm-hmm. Just wanting to start over. Like, um, wanting to be myself and do the music I wanted to do. Like, not only the music being surrounded by the people I was surrounded mm-hmm. with, where mm-hmm. I happen to feel like I have to fit in. Yes, sir. With the click in order to make it work, like. So the Reds was like me, unfiltered, unadulterated, yeah, straight me. up you. No, I definitely respect because um, <clears throat> you know I, I I've been following you for quite some time. You know what I'm saying we crossed paths a couple times. You know what I'm saying, but you you might not remember, but we we'll get into it. We'll get into yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you know um, but um, talk to me about pain. Talk to me about because you know if if anybody follows you, they know that the Reds Deshaun knows something about some damn pain. Oh yeah, for you sure. You know what I'm saying, um, and, and, and that's what I believe a lot of a lot of fans go to you for. You know what I'm saying for yeah. that pain music. Yeah. Tell me about that whole concept of the pain series and and how you came up with just that that feel and that vibe and that and that vein of music. I think honestly, I didn't even think of it. I just put together some music, and of course, when I come to the table, you know, the team like, man, I don't know, bro, like. You gotta have them bangers on there, bro. Mm-hmm, I'm mm-hmm. like, these ain't bangers, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's how I'm feeling at first, right? But then, I don't know. Me and June, my manager, um, we just sat down and was like, bro, if this I shot, at least I want to be able to be comfortable enough and know this me. It ain't. Then nobody advised me on what should be said yes, or sir. done. It's me. So if it work, it work. If it don't, it don't. At least I can look in the mirror. No, fast, fast. You know, um, um, cause once you put it out there, it's out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <coughs> well, obviously you made the right decision. Yes, yeah, sure. sir. For uh, sure, at the it right went time. All the way the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I can remember um hearing you on a lot of early Rich Gang stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Talk to me about uh, you know, your situation with Bird and you know how you, how that all came about. Um, initially it started with London and June. They was down there doing the whole situation, um, with London situation. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So. It was kind of like they just brought me in, like on some just let's see what you do. Like, come down here, bro. Let's make something happen. Like, yes, sir. Now, look, I'm about to put you on game right now. You know what I'm saying? This Ugly Money Podcast. We got this uh, by Vodka, official vodka sponsors, Bombay Vodka. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? 
and it's black owned lemonade infused vodka. That's why it's bomb made. It's bomb lemonade. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm bomb saying? lemonade. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm telling you, it'll, it'll sneak up on your way. I don't know if you want to pour it in the cup or in the cup. You know what I'm saying? Just let we gonna, know. I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm yeah. Gonna, yeah, yeah. Go on, take a sip. You know what I'm saying? Cause uh, my Alabama flower. Goodness gracious, girl. Your mom. <laughs> your mom. Your mama took some time with you. God damn. <laughs> 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 damn. Thank you, mama. Thank you. We ain't getting no chases. We ain't getting no chases. Okay, come on. We 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 gonna enjoy you walking in and out the whole night. Damn it. <laughs> Shit. Hey, when you come back with the juice, bro, it's an ice bag. It look like look like she got two midgets on her back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so uh, let's go back to the rich gang situation, man. Yeah. You know, with, working with Birdman and everything like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. How did um, you know, after after you met with Bird, you know, what I'm saying yeah, I got into and got into some and, and some records and everything, and you know, just talk to me about working with Birdman. <clears throat> um, it's a blessing, like. Working with Bird is like, for me, legendary. Facts. Like, to myself, to the person who I am, you know what I'm saying? Growing up, watching the whole situation, and 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 and, and him being one of the first, you know, they whole situation being one of the first to pave the way for niggas to make real nigga music. You know what I'm saying? Talk about it. Like, of course, we had other rap, you know what I'm saying, which I listened to and fought with, too. But being from the South and being able to understand and comprehend some of the shit that was said and, mm -hmm. and the videos, being able to depict the lifestyle, like, it was amazing then. And for me to be next to him, working with him and listening to the advice and and him let me be me. Like, it yes, ain't, sir. it wasn't no, oh, you should do this or don't do that. It's just like, yeah, nephew, I fought with that. Oh, I like that nephew. Hell yeah, you gonna kill him with that one, bitch. So it's like That's it dope. was it was legendary to hit it. You know what I'm saying? You mentioned London a lot. Yeah. Talk to me about your relationship with London J. You know what I'm saying? London J or London on the track? I'm talking about London on the track. My bad. Yeah, London. Nah, on I fought with London J too. Shout yeah. out to my dog. Yeah. But, tell um, me about him. London on the track. That's day one. You know what I'm saying? That's family shit. Like way back, we don't slip on the floors together. We don't house to house together. All that. You know what I'm saying? So yes, it's organic with him. It's divide. Like me and him together is like Batman and Robin. Yes, like, sir. Yes, you know sir. what I'm saying? Yes, sir. You know what I think it's a beautiful thing when 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 when, when one home port, when one partner get up, you know he try to bring the other one up too. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and a lot of times, unfortunately, you know fuck niggas do fuck niggas shit or whatever. A and, lot and, of times. And, and they get they get forgetful, and they get Hollywood and everything like that. And you but know, you know what? What you saying now, right? <clears throat> For so long, that's what I used to say. Mm -hmm. Like, I ain't gonna never be that nigga mm -hmm. that, that get on and leave the hood and not, like, mm -hmm. but the further that I got into this situation. Talk about it. Yeah, I learned, like, now I see why some niggas be like, man, <laughs> fuck them niggas, or man, he nigga got me fucked up, like, cause you know, it get tiresome sometimes, well, when you try to put somebody in a position, yeah. and instead of them taking that little situation you put them in, mm -hmm. That ain't what they want, and that's when shit go bad, and that's when it's like, oh, I'm good. I, I, you can have that shit. You can't, right. you can't make anybody be nothing they don't want to be in. Exactly. And they may not want to be a star deep down. He ain't going to be no star. It be some niggas that are stars but don't want to be it, don't know how to be it. Just because you can't be a rapper, nigga, you can make beats. If you can't make beats, nigga, you can act. If you can't act, you a funny motherfucker. Yeah. Make a nigga laugh or something. But niggas always want the light. Yeah. So wherever the light at, that's what they want. Today a nigga might want to rap. Tomorrow, if the light on the nigga playing football, now he won't go to college. Or next week, if a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir, like yes, they want to know, like a lot of people. Yeah, but they have no idea of the amount of sacrifice and the amount of energy right. and effort that it takes just to get a, a foot in the game. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Actually, to, to actually get and to don't the even want to do it. A no. lot of niggas don't even want to work for it. Niggas just want a nigga to. The same way Shout brought their cup in here, that's yeah. what niggas want them to do with their life. <laughs> Change my life. Make me be somebody. Yeah, it is. You know what I'm saying? I just want to sit here. Look, I just want to sit here and let, watch the Reds going to blow me up. Uh, you had uh, you had some dealings with uh, DJ oh, Envy. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. You had some de dealings with DJ Envy um, with the Hardaway record. Yeah. And I always, you know, it, good thing I love about my job is I get to ask the questions that I always wanted when I see certain things. Mm -hmm. And I was like, how does the artist... That that in the in the song say he looking for Charlemagne, 
end up putting the record out with DJ Envy. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. That, was that shit epic. was crazy as that. That was epic. But but it was, it was all good. It was fun. It was yeah. all love. You yeah, know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. From the situation in hand when I was up there with Bird, you know what yes, I'm sir. saying? And um, like I always say, anybody who I'm rocking with, no matter what it is, if it's love, it's love, and I'm going to support that so, however. So in the music, you know, I just, yeah, like, yeah, we was. You know what I'm saying? Yes, we was out there. But, yes, <laughs> you know, he actually, Charlamagne actually got on the phone with me and was like, damn, nigga, why you ain't put an ad lib on that shit? <laughs> 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 he was like, why you eat, turn me up? <laughs> nigga, I was, shit, man. I, nigga, it wasn't the vibe. You know what I'm mean? saying? <laughs> but, nah, it's all love. It's, you know what I mean? Hip-hop. Right, you know what I'm mean? saying? <laughs> nah, yeah. fact, fact. You know, hip-hop can be aggressive at times. Yeah. It's part of it. You know what I'm saying? And if at the end of the day, if shit, if you was riding around and that was the vibe, then damn it, that's what the vibe was. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Talk to me. So, so how does this how does this transpire? Because I because I always thought, I'm like, man, envy being petty is hell right now. By goddamn Lincoln with 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 uh you know because I can see them in the in at the Breakfast Club just like yeah, yeah right, you know that yeah. dude the Red Sox <laughs> yeah you know he <laughs> probably like <laughs> what you got to say about <laughs> that <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> nah I mean it just, I, I you know good shit when you hit mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying and I ain't bragging and boasting like I'm just better than no, yes, nobody sir. but you know when you hear good shit people want to be a part of good shit yes sir you know what I'm yes, saying sir. yes sir uh what is the what is the uh songwriting process of the Reds and Shine because I mean you, you have these records that seem like they come from somewhere. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like um you just ain't you just ain't pulling this bullshit out the sky, brother. It's coming yeah. from somewhere. It's deep. coming from it's coming from my heart, my soul. Nothing is just off the t- it, it ain't from my mind. I ain't thinking of plotting and strategizing. I'm just catching the vibe. Yes sir. I get in there, no pen, no pad, lights low. Well I used to be a hundred deep. I yeah. used to just love all my niggas in the studio, yeah. bitches in the studio, you know, look like it's a party yes, in the sir. studio. That's what I used to like. Mm-hmm. But then as I matured and understood, like, this shit is deeper than that. Like, it's more important than just some big-ass party. Yes, sir. It was low-key, you know, low lights, vibes, um, little liquor, you know yes, what I'm sir. saying? Little whatever. Shit. Yeah, whatever. Whatever drug God a nigga damn, feeling like. Goddamn trap jail averted this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you know what's um you know what's crazy? You you, you talk about like like the like the uh, the entourages and things or whatever. Are, are there pros and cons to rolling crazy deep and, and it's the cons, you know what I'm saying? Is it's just some drawbacks because I see a lot of artists and you know, we just talking about the res, we ain't talking right, about right. nobody else. But you know, I see a lot of artists come out the gate. 50, 100 niggas behind them, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And, and sometimes it seems like it always brings some kind of trouble, you know what I'm I saying? mean, yeah, both ways. Um, it, it, I'm trying to say this in the best way I can yeah. say it. Like, yeah. all right, for me, music was just passion. It, I love it. Like, I was doing this shit before I ever made a dollar, and yes, I was sir. consistent with it. Mm-hmm. So once it became a job, you know what I'm saying, like, this is exactly how I'm taking care of my folk. Like, I ain't in the street no more. I ain't doing nothing mm-hmm. but music. It kind of fuck you up when you got certain niggas on the bullshit still, and you go here, and then now it's conflict with these two folks that you don't even know, so it kind of, I got to fall, or I can't go here, or mm-hmm. I can't bring niggas around, or then that cause a problem, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's one way, and then the second way is you bringing a whole bunch of niggas that ain't never had shit for real. So it's looking like something to them and shit coming up missing and all kind of shit and you getting blank, shit getting broke, you gotta pay for it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to need people establishment, niggas getting the hooking and breaking the club up and tying up their shit and I'm getting sued. Like, you know what yes, I'm sir. saying? Yes, sir. Which that's something they ain't gonna know or understand. And it ain't their fault, but yeah, it's like, yeah, that shit can be bad. You know what I'm saying? Being too deep. Sometimes the entourages ain't ain't the move. You know, we um we we've we've had a lot of losses this yeah, year in yeah. hip hop. You know what I'm saying? R. P. King Von and yeah. Bo Three and yeah. I mean I mean, unfortunately the list is going on and on. On and to, on to just you know, just, just gun violence. Like where do you where do you what, what do you think? Where is this coming from? Why is it happening so frequently? Why is it Because un- the, my honest answer to that question is this, and it's not to speak on any of those people yes, specifically. Sir. Cause I don't know they business. I don't know what they got going. But 
I can only imagine, like, the game has opened up for real niggas to be in the game. So, you know, niggas is rapping, but some niggas is really in the street still. Some niggas is still having real street issues, but, you know, the game don't shine that light on them. And to be honest, the game take advantage of us as artists by saying, oh, these street niggas, let them go wild. Let them do what they doing. Let them fuck that shit up. We don't give a fuck because it's entertaining. But it's sad. It's, it's sad as fuck, though, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? But, nigga, when you in the game, you got to know the rules. Yes, sir. And when the ref throw that flag, you know something went wrong. Dropping some gems, ladies and gentlemen. Pay attention. Pay attention. Because, uh, you know, I, I, I'm quite frankly, I'm tired of saying RIP, man. You know man, what I'm saying? Man, me too. Any, any tips, any tips to, to upcoming artists and artists that are already up? About how to move, how to move correctly, cause I, I, I can mean, tell you, 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 you figured it out. It seems like. I ain't figured it all the way out. I ain't even gonna lie. I still be on my bullshit yes, and sir. forgetting who I am. Really, mm -hmm. I still be thinking like, oh, I'm just Devo, <laughs> standing in the club by myself, all my jewelry. You know what I mean? I've seen him in 1145 <laughs> <laughs> by himself, you no me? security. You <laughs> me? I'm like, yo, that's that's fucking the rest of the show. Yeah, right I'm there. still low. I'm still <laughs> sometimes I trip out, but. Only thing I can tell somebody is um from my own yes, sir. mistakes and shit, like remember who you is, not who you was, and remember who you who you trying to be. Like you can't do that same old shit and be trying to do something new. You can't prosper by being the old you in new shoes. Like mm. you get what I'm saying? You mm -hmm. have to know move like who you is. If you a king on your crown, you know what I'm saying? What kind of king gonna lay that crown on the table but then talk king shit? You feel me? <laughs> that shit gotta be on your head, nigga, when you walk around in motherfucking. That's how you gotta move. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. A lot of um a lot of artists like to like to yell out with no security. I ain't with no security. I ain't got no security with me. I mean, do you agree with that? Do you do you think this that's a smart move? I mean Um I mean know, for them to be saying it out like that, like that shit don't mean that. Okay. Cause you can get hit with security. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's just being a homie. Ooh, shit. That Talk don't mean shit. Nigga, you all right, niggas know we beat the fuck up our security. Like, we don't give a fuck. Ain't no way nobody gonna stop to slow shit down that we on your ass. Yes, sir. And I don't mean that in specific to nothing, but in general. Yes, sir. If a nigga on your ass, he on your ass. Yes, sir. You feel me? <laughs> All the little fake ass bullshit beef niggas be having, of course. Ah, you don't need security. Ain't nobody stun your ass. Yes, sir. But in real life, nigga, I mean, I support the security and I support the not security. Yes, sir. You know what yes, I mean? Sir. It's on how you carry yourself. You humble enough to know. You humble enough to know how to move. Just be ready for that shit both ways, cause it can happen either way. Do you think sometimes artists like speak that shit into existence in their music? Of course they do. If you put that shit out there, you gonna receive it. That's why, you know what I'm saying, a, a lot of times I have been furious about a situation and said certain shit and had to talk to God about it, you know what I'm saying? Because it can come back if you want it to. If you really want it, it'll happen. That's that that's happening. The universe is real, bro. You For know what sure. I'm saying? A lot of times, you know, because I, 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 I've been fans of certain artists, you know, that, that have passed away. And then when you go back and really, really dissect their sound and dissect their music, a lot of, a lot of them... You know, it's, it's really speaking into existence. Well, you know? some that's their life. Like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. People ask why I rap about pain. That's what I. That's my life. I mean, do you want to hear me rap about some bullshit I don't know about? Exactly. You know what I'm saying. And then you could go back and say, oh, he talking about this. We ain't seen that. He ain't, how how what is it? What to prove? Like, but a lot of niggas do that. A lot of niggas don't even be about the shit they be saying. So, <laughs> thanks. You know what I mean? Like, it be crazy. Like, <laughs> I just made a post today, man. It be niggas playing tough on the internet getting punched out in the neighborhood. Come on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you'll never see that because they ain't going to put that on the internet. Dang. Oh, I just got punched out today, guys. You know what I'm saying? But I'm still on the block. I ain't going to do that shit. <laughs> nigga ain't going to do that. A nigga going to, yeah, boy, I'm wet, bitch. I mean, uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Oh, man, <laughs> shut your ass up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Please. Speaking of the neighborhood. I'm about, I'm, about, I'm, about, I'm about to blow your head up a little bit, man. Uh, tell me about 231 Rex Road. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. Yeah, I got yeah, you. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, I snapped that's, on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I snapped on that. That's, that's the, that's the neighborhood. Yeah, that's right around the town. That's yes, the neighborhood, sir. for yes, sure. Yes, sir. Yeah, and, and, and the green box. 
Oh yeah, rapping on the green box. You know about how you know about that. Come man. on, man. I've been around, brother. Yeah, we've been in Cobble. Hey, we used to be in, well when I was a young nigga in Cobblestone, I used to sit on the green box and freestyle. Come on, man. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> heard a lot of heard a lot of superstars and rapped on that green box, man. Heard a lot of I other mean, superstars. Yeah, really. No cap. Yeah, yeah a lot. Yeah, yeah. for sure. <laughs> that green shouts box. Out, shouts out to Jurassic Park, man. Yeah, we outside. Let's um let, let's let's go back a little more, man. Um R.P. Slim Duncan. For sure, long you know live, saying? long like, live. Uh, and and, and I've, I've seen you throughout throughout the years. Just just keep you know his name alive always. You for know sure. what I'm saying? Just just talk to he me. He on the train right here. That's love. He nah, always crazy. with me, right by my heart. Always that's crazy. Yeah, for R. sure. R.P. Dunk. Talk to me, and for the people that may not know and may not have heard of Dunk or whatever, may not be hip to it. You know what I'm saying? Talk to me about Dunk and who he was as a person. As a person, Dunk was a very inspirational person. Um, like I say, we all have our ways and, 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 and certain things about us, but overall he was he was like the way he was the understanding. Even from the different niggas group of niggas that he put together like that shit wasn't put together like that. Mm-hmm. Like he was the centerpiece that connected all that shit. Mm-hmm. And when he, you know, left like a lot of shit went back to how it was. Niggas was feeling this and niggas was feeling that and yes, niggas spaced back out, separated, you know what I'm saying? So he was like glue to a lot of shit, mm. to success. Like, like you know what I'm saying. He 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 motivated niggas to want to be better. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, we used to go on, we used to go on the road, and he used to just pull over sometimes. Like we be in Virginia, we ain't never been there. He'll pull over, we in the hills with the mountains and shit. We get out, look down, like damn. He was like, bro, we ain't seen this shit in Clay County, bro. Come on, bro. We gotta lead the hood, bro. This is what we gotta do, and shit like that is what motivated me for sure to get the fuck on, like. Mentally, you know what I'm saying? Because yes, you could be on your way, but stuck in your past, and it ain't gonna happen for you. And that's a lot of shit niggas don't. I mean, that's a lot of a lot of niggas don't understand that you could have everything right here in front of you to be successful, but if you ain't mentally beyond that shit, you gonna be right where you been at the whole time. Oh, that's real. That's for real. sure. So, so Dunk Dunk is definitely uh somebody that motivated y'all early for sure to get to get on it man RP he the one who showed her it can happen nah that's that's real you know that's what i'm real. saying i remember i was doing uh i was doing clubs in augusta uh-huh. uh back then when dunk was moving around and we had him come up there and, and you know what i'm saying he, he he always was like on it you know what i'm right. saying he seemed like he was a very very like driven young man like he knew exactly where the hell he wanted to go exactly you know what i'm saying and uh he i, I wouldn't even say he knew exactly where he wanted to go he knew where he had to go there it is you know what i'm saying he knew the influence he played on our life, like he knew if I'm really going to be the voice of this shit, I got to be the voice all the way around, not just on the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You my brother, I'm your brother, a nigga play with you, he playing with me, mm-hmm. but I want you to get away from all this stupid shit. Let go get some money. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Now look, come on, we're going to fast forward a little bit. Your sound is um, it's something I feel is distinct. You know what I'm saying? It's something that's true to you, and uh, it is your own. Thank you. Um, you know, the melody. I, I, you, you hear the pain in your voice, but you also hear the melody. You also hear the cadences, you know what I'm saying? I used to be a rapper back in the day. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> <coughs> so, you know, I pay attention to certain things. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, you know, I pay attention to, 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 to a person that can sing in their head voice or sing in their chest voice, you know, yeah. octaves and everything like that. Um, describe your sound to people that may have been sleeping on the rock for the past four or five years. In the most humblest, shortest way. You better, you better stand on that shit, nigga. Oh, God, <laughs> hey, God giving. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. God giving. It's a blessing. It's a gift that is unmerited. You know, like, I didn't ask for this. I didn't practice this. I just did it. Like, yes, this sir. was given to me to do that. Now, is that is that something that... that like, have you always had the melody in in the music, but, you know, from back in the day, or is that something that you just developed it, it, into? It wasn't there back in the day. Like I say, you know, being around the certain, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, it, we we had different vibes. We had certain beats you used to come to. Like, yes, sir. But, you know, on my own time, you know, before uh, doing the little mix station shit, of course, I always had my own little flow, my own mm-hmm. little vibe. But at that time, I didn't know how to, Present that. I didn't know how to push that. All I knew was, hey man, do what we on, do what we on. I'm focused on that. I want. It wasn't about me yet. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, no, facts, facts, facts. So it's something that, you know what I'm saying, it, it, just, it just came, it just grew, and you grew into it. Yeah, it been, I love music all the way around, every genre, it don't even matter what kind it is. Now, it, 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 is it me, and, and I, it could be me, but it, is, it just sometimes it seems like the Rez Deshaun sound has been, um, what's the word I want to use? What's the non-messy word, Manny, I'm looking for? Um... Uh, Infused. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Thank you. Thank you. That's a nice word. Uh, yeah, of uh, course. I mean, but I ain't hanging. That's what it' supposed to do. Like, I' supposed to open up the door for the other people in the world that feel the same way. You know what I'm saying? What if they want to sound the same way, Derez? That's just, fine with me. I mean, Come I, get a class in, baby. <laughs> I get you right. You know does, what I'm saying? Does 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 when, when people make comparisons, like you know, um, like say a Rod Wave or anybody, right. you know, what I'm saying like uh, you know, another big brother. You know that happens to have a lot of melody mm -hmm. and happens to use a lot of cadences and things that never maybe some may consider similar right. to Derez Deshaun. What does Derez say to that when he hears that? When I hear, I don't, I don't think it's sounding like me or it's just so much as catering to me. Mm -hmm. But I appreciate the people that value me as much with his success on doing what he doing. Yes, if I did inspire him or anyone, then that's 100. I, I'm doing my job. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how I go. I ain't a selfish nigga. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I ain't nothing mine. This shit for all this. Mm -hmm. So if I can open up the door to show you how to cook dope, how you want to cook it, <laughs> nigga, cook it. You know what I'm saying? And if they give me the, 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 the hey, my boy, you yep. 100. Appreciate it. Do, but but, but if, 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 in, if, if indeed you do teach a person Mm -hmm. Way inadvertently or or, or or from the face. I mean, wouldn't you think that they would at least, you know, hit you back and say, "Bro, you know." That you know nowadays. Is that, is that a call that's happened? I, no, I ain't got no call from nobody. And the reason why, I mean, because no matter how much you like, for example, I never. If I had the chance, I probably would have never called Pop to say, "Pop, you inspired me to rap real life shit." Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, I feel you. Because. As a man, I want to say another man gave me a skill set. You feel what I'm saying? This is my skill set. Yeah, you inspired it. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know if I would have called a man and said, hey, you the reason I uh, I got this from, you know what I'm saying? So you think it's pride? I don't know. I just think it's never thought of. Like, I could sit around you all day and learn and pick up shit not knowing. It just happens. Yeah. Lingo get picked up every yeah, yeah. day. Uh, swag, sauce. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? But Your choice and bitch. <laughs> like, niggas, it's just, it's just happening. It's like, gravitates to you. Like. But, but if you got a thousand, thousands of people telling you that, you know, telling, I, I know niggas can see comments. You got thousands right. and thousands of people saying, hey, bro, well, you sound like the Reds. <laughs> I mean, you know why <laughs> you know I don't, you know, like, you know why I don't give a fuck about that? Talk to it's me. because before, before, when Lucha first came out, nigga said I sound like Lucha. Wow. But I'm like, how the fuck do I sound like Lucha? Hmm. You know what I'm saying? We have a whole total different voice. And cadence. You did? Yeah. So it's like anytime something is similar, the people are always gonna try to do some lame shit and yeah. push it. But what you think? Oh, he sound like man, that yeah. man don't sound like me. Yeah, and yeah. I tell you, Rod Wade don't sound like me. Yeah. Don't none of these niggas sound like me. And that's not in no that's not in no that's fucked up way, but they don't. They sound like them. You know what I'm saying? Respect. So if I inspired you to be real to yourself or or be able to sing and have emotion in your shit and not so tough, then that's one hundred. I appreciate that. You Ladies know what and gentlemen, saying? the rest of shot has answered that goddamn question as messy as humanly possible. Now I appreciate that, brother. And I appreciate the transparency on it. You know what I'm saying? Cause uh uh you know, at the end of the day, man, it's, it's, it's just about being true to yourself. And that's one right. thing I can see. I can see with you is just, you know what? You're going to be you. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Hate it or love it, the res is the res. Yeah, because I want, if they gonna, they going to hate and they going to love me regardless, I want them to hate and love me. Yes, sir. Not who they think I am, not yes, who sir. they want me to be. They going to hate me and really love be, me. You feel me? I'd rather be hated for who I am than be loved for who I am not. Exactly. What's next? What's up? What's up next? What's coming? Everything, man. I just got out my contract. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Uh-oh, free agents. Yeah, free agents. Let's go. I just got out my contract, you know what I'm saying? But it's all love for them, yeah, too, yeah, though. Yeah. Facts. Shout out to Commission BNG, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm, I'm, it's the red time. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? So, um, out the contract, about to drop a freshly released, per, uh, what I want to call it, 
my first my first real me album. Like I don't need nobody telling me which way to drive the album, direct the album is me. You know what I'm saying? Nah, man. I, man, I, I, to get that I buddy. nah, look, 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 nah, nah. I'm, nah, nah. I'm, I'm trying to stick it in there. I've now. been thinking, I've been thinking of some shit. I've been definitely thinking of some shit. Um, but it's not gonna be pain. Nah, we through with pain. And the reason I say that is because um, I always rap my pain. I always rap what I've been through. I ain't never really got the chance to express the good side of shit. Like, yes, sir. Now I want to kind of, you know, just just give them all all sides of it. Mm-hmm. So of course, it's always gonna be some type of emotional music or pain music, because of the fact that life goes on, and no matter if you up or down, it's something going wrong somewhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'ma definitely have it, but my focus is to show the other side. You know what I'm saying? I mean, cause at, at some point in time, I mean, given pain, we're talking about struggles. Right. We're talking about hardships and giving you, you know, we all still have them, but I mean, life has had to change. It, it definitely since then, has. Definitely. Where it may not be as painful. I mean, I ain't gonna, for me, you know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, I'm an emotional person, and yes, I ain't sir. scared to say that because I'm a man. Stand on it. You feel me? I'm a man at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. If I cry today, I'm crying today, but I'll beat your ass tomorrow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's real. Yes, sir. But, um. Yeah, like I say, my focus, I mean, the pain is pain. Mm-hmm. That shit don't hit no different. Don't nothing hurt more or less than the other thing. You could be a rich nigga and, and, and family situations can fuck you up. You could be a broke nigga and money could be the reason you so sad. Like, it don't matter what it is, pain is pain. So, I'm having that shit, but I'm trying to focus on the other end of it. What's the other end? The Talk pain turned me to a monster. Come on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now I'm riding around these motherfuckers doing shit I dreamed of from this shit. This yes, shit they sir. told me I couldn't have because of the, 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 the foundation I came from, the lifestyle, the situation, the struggle. They said I couldn't do this shit. Yes, the fuck I can. I did it. I showed you. I got other niggas doing it too. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I love it. I can't wait to hear that kind of music right from out of you. Oh, yeah, for sure. This is the Ugly Money Podcast, and what we do is we salute the the process of success. Right. You know, Ugly Money stands for um, everything you make between your first dollar and your first million. It's it's, it's the process Mm -hmm. of becoming successful, and Mm -hmm. and you definitely embody that. Uh, Tell our our listeners, man, a time that, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure there was doors closed in your face. I'm pretty sure that people told you no. Uh, It seemed like things weren't going to work out right. Right. Tell me about a time that that you had one of those situations and how you overcame that. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say like some of the most recent shit as far as becoming the Red Deshaun, the artist or whatever when Hardaway dropped. Mm-hmm. We went to a million different means. You know what I'm saying? Wow. And everybody tried to underhand the nigga. Everybody tried to oh no nah, this ain't that this ain't gonna work. You know we gonna have to do too much for this. And you know honestly I'm like. Damn, this far as I got with this shit, the meeting. And it was like, it's cool because a uh, hundred niggas I know from my hood will never get to these meetings. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm satisfied with it. I'm here, I made it to this point. And then after that, shit, I mean, I know you saw all I got, so it shit just went viral. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It did, man. It went viral, and it, was, it, it, it put me in a place that now I can. Hey nigga, no nigga, <laughs> fuck you, nigga, fuck you. Why had you called then last week? You just said, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, <clears throat> yeah, respect, man, respect, man. Nah, man, you definitely embody just you know just being yourself, brother. And, you know, and 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 I always definitely salute that, man. You know what I'm saying? I wish you the best. You don't need no luck, but uh, you know what I'm saying? May God speed with you. You know what I mean? Yes, and, sir. Uh, we look forward to the new music. We look forward to I got you. I'm gonna have to come drop you some of this shit off. Please, brother. Fresh please. out the booth. I'm I need, just gonna come really, forward. I was, I was trying to get that name about you. You know what I mean? I mean, I look, I've been working. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I I think of names and shit. Well, really, I just think of all kind of shit. My mind be everywhere. So, like the other day, I sent him some shit. I'm thinking of, um, I was thinking of the album name to be called More Than I Asked For. Okay. And the reason I say that, Ooh. the reason I say that is because Ooh. a lot of people don't know what come with this shit. Like, they just see this shit on TV. They see a nigga lit. They see the money. They see the cars, the hoes, and all of that shit. But they don't see what it took to be on this TV. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? So when I say more than I asked for, it's like I asked for this shit and everything that came with it. Thinking about the cars, the clothes, the hoes, and the money, mm-hmm. right? 
But then I seen all the other shit, the snakes, the thieves, the niggas who was around for 20 years waiting for a nigga to make it so they can get in or uh, get over, you know what I'm saying? So I thought of that. This nigga sent me a, uh, a, a GIF <laughs> with somebody throwing some hot trash in the dump. <laughs> I'm like, damn. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? Then I then I thought of this. Um, don't you ever fucking forget, you know, and that's around all of the everybody yes, wanna say we and this and this nigga sound, that nigga sound and so yeah, don't you ever forget. Yes, sir. Yes, I sir. made this shit okay. Yes, sir. You feel me? Yes, sir. I made it okay for a nigga to say I'm sad as hell. Yes, sir. <laughs> nigga, no, every hey, the Come time on, hey, when I came out, Stand everybody everybody with gangsters, drug dealers. Uh, whatever, nigga, rich as fuck. You know what I mean? I came out like, nigga, I'm fucked up on my dick. I ain't got nothing. Come on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and the whole music shit just shifted after that. Yes, sir. Everybody sleeping on the floor now. <laughs> Niggas I knew one sleeping on the floor. I know, right? Sleeping on the floor now. Roaches in the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when, nigga, ever since I knew you, you had a king size bitch. Shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nah, I'm just man, saying, man, nah, man. but for real though, yeah. Nah, respect, bro. I, I look forward to it, man. Um, I appreciate you coming through, brother. Uh, let them know the follow you before we get out of here, man. You know, we gotta we gotta check back. You know, you gotta come check back in after, after yeah. we drop this joint. You know what I mean? After you drop this joint, you know. What I'm man? for sure. Cause see, one thing about me, man, I respect relationships. You know what yes, I'm saying? Sir. Yes, sir. And 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 I'm a real firm believer in some relationships are more expensive than any amount of money. Amen. And so, you know, I appreciate you for having me on your show, you know what I'm saying, to reach out and let me be a part of this greatness. Oh, man. So we'll definitely stay locked in. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Brotherhood shit. Respect. You know what I'm saying? Fat, fly niggas. Yes, sir. Fuck you mean. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> flies. <laughs> let them know the poly way, Red. <laughs> man, you can follow me anywhere in the world, man, at the Red Deshaun on whatever platform you on. Uh, you can follow me at Ugly Money Nietzsche. That's Ugly Money N I C H E. Remember, the bigger the dream, the bigger the risk, the bigger the payoff. This has been the Ugly Money Podcast with Derez Deshaun. And shout out to my boy Sirot Boy Manning because he's the first promoter to ever give me a bottle in Atlanta. And he kept it real with me. And I told him, I said, whenever I get a chance to show you some love back, I ain't never going to forget this shit. Salute. 100.